So Jerry, hi, Jim Delapine here. I want to give you some video feedback on how you can fix your character here because the size and scale is off. So, um, first of all, this uh, background was not due this week, but I'm kind of glad you did because I would advise against this. It's just so busy that the character gets lost. So choose something simpler and you'd be better off, okay? So let me just hide that background. And you also were not supposed to have any duplicates or mirrored items so um, anyway okay so let me first work with the scale so if we go to image and let me, let me do this image image size and so note that this file is 20 inches high by 14 and a half inches wide thankfully the resolution is correct but the size uh, with an height is wrong it should be 8 by 10 so I'm happy that it's it's larger than it should be because we don't lose quality when we reduce it but we'll reduce quality if we scale it up so what we're going to do is this i'm going to first um scale you have to scale your character down and then we'll work with the rest okay so um if i click on let's see here the first visible layer here which is the spatula okay all these are hidden as a matter of fact you should hide this is a very large file, so get rid of things you don't need. So I'll, I'll shift click these and just um, to select all these layers and get them to the trash. The file took a long time to open and it's just way too big. So uh, actually, it's also a large file size because of the extra size that you have in here. So we'll fix that now. So I'm going to click on this spatula layer here and scroll up to the top and shift click. So all these are selected. Shift adds two. Actually, I missed two. Okay, now I'll hit Control T, and that puts a bounding box around all these active layers. And then I'm, I'm going to hit Control Zero, not O, but Zero. Okay, then I'm going to go to, to the corner and start dragging in. As I'm dragging, I'm holding down the Shift key to constrain it. Otherwise, it's you know all over the place. So Shift key will constrain the proportions, and the Alt key will scale into the center point. So I'm going to say something around uh, something like that, okay? Then I'm going to let go of my cursor first, and then the Shift and Alt key, all right? Then I'm going to hit Enter to apply the transformation, and it's now scaled, okay? So it's scaled in proportion. Um, so what would happen here? Uh, let me put another layer here and fill it with white so we don't see the transparency. All right. So now we have to adjust the file size. So what we're going to do is go to the crop tool. So I'm going to select this tool here, all right, right here. Then up top, make sure this drop down menu has the width times height times resolution. Okay. And then you're going to type in here 8 by 10 by 300. Okay. So this is the area that's going to be cropped out. So we're really taking off the top and bottom. So this will be perfect. So once you have that size in there, 8 by 10 by 300, okay, just click on the check mark. Okay. So now when we go to image, image size, you have the correct size. Okay. And he's also within the 6 by 9 inch area. Uh, six by eight inch area. All right, so just make sure you do that and we'll take it from there and you need to make this look like it's, it's into the bun. So these here maybe should go to the top wherever the bun is. Yeah, here and then you're going to use the layer mask to mask out that portion. Um, make sure that layer mask is active to make it look like it's it's kind of going into the bun. All right, and then we'll deal with shadows next time. All right. Okay, hope that helped.